Check it out guys, welcome back to Lolo Creates. My name is Lauren and this is my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today's video is going to be my bullet journal setup for October 2020. I kind of bounced back and forth between the themes that I wanted to do and I actually took some inspiration from a chalkboard that I have in my room and that's where everything just came together. It's kind of farmhouse meets fall vibes. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's keep on watching. Like I mentioned, the focal point of this theme was a chalkboard. My chalkboard that I decided to put up was an easel. I felt like this was a farmhouse type chalkboard you would see. I also added a mason jar candle, books, leaves, and a ton of other fall items. I did use a Posca paint pen to color in the middle of the chalkboard. Of course, if you don't have paper that's pretty thick, you can use any other type of marker you might have, such as Tombow's or a black marker. I just wanted the opaque chalkboard look, so I decided to go with a Posca paint pen, which I've never used before in my bullet journal. Since I was waiting for it to dry, I drew all the other things around it. So I had a coffee cup in the paper cups, a pumpkin, books, pillows. And on the left hand side, I decided to make this my monthly playlist spread. I'm running out of pages, so I kind of have been doing the playlist on the left and the cover page on the right. Sorry my camera cut off, so you didn't get to see me writing it out in my white Posca paint pen, but you do get to see me fixing a little mistake I had made. I colored in the rest with fall colors. And I added some decorations. You'll see me doing that plaid on a different pillow later on. And on the left hand side, I wrote October playlist. I really tried to add in some fall vibes with different leaves and colors. For the next spread, I decided to do the chalkboard again, but this time I made them flat chalkboards and I have two of them. I'm using this for YouTube and Instagram. You can use these for to-do lists or whatever you need them for. Each one of my boxes for my calendar is five by five. I left a space in between each one. I like this layout, it always works for me. So I've been using it for a while now. On the left hand side of the page, I put October using a Tombow Fudenosuke. I also outlined the rest of my doodles. I will leave the link in the description for my affiliate link for Tombows. You don't have to use it, but if you do, you can support me and I'm not charging you any extra by using that link. So here I'm making the plaid. It's kind of the Burberry plaid. I thought this was more of a fall vibe than other types of plaid I've seen. Make sure when you do this to put the red in last because otherwise it'll smear. I actually had this happen. I finished coloring in the rest of my doodles and outlining the two chalkboards on the right. Then I added the dates to the little boxes. I finished it off by writing on my chalkboards. And then on the next page, once that dried, I decided to make this my two week weekly spread. So I have a column on the left hand side with doodles just kind of on the outside. This is actually going to be one full week for one page. Um, the right side is kind of mirrored, but I'm using different doodles. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm just doing a line across the top. Again, I don't use a ruler because I think it adds to the character of this page if you don't use one. You can use one if you want to. And then I wrote this week on the top. Then I split them up into seven boxes. And as you can tell, my boxes aren't that big, so I'm gonna have a box at the end. These are just events that I'm gonna put on the side, just to keep track of the day. And then I'm gonna have a running to-do list on the page. I find that I can just write something is due on the 5th or something, whatever I decide. I did fill in those chalkboards with my Posca paint pen and I'm letting them dry. It does dry pretty quickly, but you want to make sure it's completely dry before you try and write anything on top of it. So here I'm coloring in all the rest of the doodles. And then I wrote October 2020 on the left and then Hey There Pumpkin on the right. Again, I'm filling in the rest of the doodles. This is how I did the plaid. And then I'm writing October 5th through 11th on the left-hand side and October 12th through 18th on the right. Then I'm filling in the days of the week. I'm finishing off the coloring. I will say that you can start on a Sunday. It just works better for me to start on a Monday. And obviously this theme does not have to be for October. You can use it for whatever month you want. For the next spread, it's another two week layout. I'm drawing six boxes on the left hand side and six on the right. Each box is going to be a day of the week and then the last ones on the pages are going to be Saturday and Sunday. To add to the theme, I drew little doodles in the left hand corner of each box. I kind of tried to make each doodle appear twice so it was a little bit balanced. And then I made them a little bit random around the page. Then I colored in all the doodles. And I filled in the days of the week. Don't do what I did when I got to the weekend and accidentally forget that there's two days that you have to do. I messed that up. I tried to fix it. It doesn't look the best. I tried to fix it with my Posca paint pen. The white is not the same color white, which is what happened. I still haven't found a pen that can cover up my mistakes in my notebook, so if anyone has any suggestions, I'm always all ears. And here's the final flip through. I really like how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please click that subscribe button down below as well as hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Share this with your friends. I know that a lot of you have friends who like bullet journaling too, so maybe you guys can twin with a theme. Bye guys, see you next time.